against Great Britain. Here in the Americas, though, quite a different story. And quite remarkably, only two out of the seven tickets have been taken ahead of this final day. USA and Canada as group winners. We're about to find out the other five. Strap in, get multiple screens on the go, six games at the same time. Two tense and tantalising hours tipping off. And we're with you for this game here in Colombia. And straight away, it starts with a turnover for a backcourt violation from the opening tip. And that's a, a nice unexpected boost for Puerto Rico. Tremont Waters, the hero of the hour in Brazil. Now they spread the floor. And the curl, the three. Falls flat for Clavel. Offensive rebound. It's Waters picking up where he left off. Hit the game winner in Brazil. And he hits his first shot here on the final game day. Slips inside to Teo, who throws it down. And as he gets up off his feet, the fans get up on theirs. The emphatic start to the scoring for Colombia from Juan Teo. Clavel wants to take it with the neat handles. Lost it, though, poked away. He bought again. Going for everything and getting denied. What a red-hot start here in Medellin. Puerto Rico with a series of turnovers now. Roque, no-look pass onto the interior. Muscle meeting, muscle. A real battle for the board as well. George Condit comes away with it. Averaging 5.1 rebounds for Puerto Rico. It's an important one to settle the nerves. Waters, 18.2 points per game. Their top scorer. He was held to 10 in Brazil, but had the two that mattered the most. Big start to the scoring for Colombia from one of their big players, Juan Teo. Waters will go again. He's got their three points so far. Beautiful crossover, creating significant breathing room, but he couldn't convert. Teo looking to volley his way coast to coast. Ends up down on his backside. And now Colombia down short-handed on defense, but not to be denied. And then Aline Ford going for the spectacular. And they're going to try their best to break the rack. And Ortiz able to throw it down at the second attempt. Ford was going for the firecracker of a finish. Puerto Rico eventually have their three-point lead, but not for long. Juan Teo again. All four points for Colombia. He was held to four of 14 shooting in the defeat in San Juan. Juan Teo, when these two teams last met. Denied again! There's a trampoline under the hoop belonging to George Condit. Back-to-back -back blocks, and then a big triple from Jan Clavel. Puerto Rico bringing their best on defense on their big night. Offensive rebounds, and the geometry spot on from Jackson. What an entertaining start in this wonderful atmosphere. Three-point shot again, not this time for four. This game being played at such a high tempo. Long range two, knocked down by Roque. 
And we are level. Big moments on offense and defense in the opening four minutes. Waters to the corner, baseline opens up for the drive. Pretty finish that time, underarm on the reverse from four. And finally gets going. Three-point shot for Jackson this time. And then Ford again will go to the line for two. And everybody can catch their breaths. Well, good luck to those cutting the highlights for this one. You've got to be quick to do so before the next one comes along. count Arlene Ford getting a kind spin off front iron and a night where each and every point could be so so important he was 0 of 5 from the field in the home win over Columbia got away with that maybe Columbia at home this evening but there's plenty of Puerto Rican support in here as well long limbs in the passing lanes and a loose ball recovered by Waters. Turnover's a problem at the moment. For Colombia, three already, although Puerto Rico have had two. Officials are going to have to come across and confer. Make sure they've got the house in order. Midway point of the first. Puerto Rico by four. Colombia committing three fouls already. Puerto Rico yet to commit one. I'll do my best to keep you updated with all of those scores from elsewhere. This one of six games tipping off at the same time. 10 past 7 p.m. local time tip off. Waters. Well, there's an issue with the clock. So after that breathless start, we do have a significant break now. Puerto Rico sharing their 12 points around. Ford with four. A couple of players with three. Footwork into the corner of the foul on the three-point attempt. And Puerto Rico stars, Jan Clavel, stuck to too tightly by one of Colombia's stars, Juan Teo. Beaten by the footwork, overzealous to close the gap. And now three free throws for Clavel. I remember I mentioned before tip-off that Puerto Rico's Free throw shooting has let them down through this campaign, just 65% as a team. George Condit has just gone to the bench and Ismael Romero has come in. And there you go, right on cue. Claval misses the first of three. Here's the foul. Middle one good. In Brazil on Thursday, he had 16 points, five rebounds and a steal. Shot the ball well from the field, including four of five from downtown. And he's recovered at the strike to give Puerto Rico a healthy six-point lead just over the midway point of the first quarter.
Well, free in the paint for the two-handed hammer, Anders Ibargen. Facilitator drew the double team. Ibargen free for the flying finish. Laval outside shot misses. And Colombia can look to make it a one-possession game again. They'll try and get back within one. Three, two long from Angola. Offensive rebound, though. A fresh 14 to work with. Not many possessions are going to go deep into the shot clock in this one. And these two teams pouring so many points in the paint but we're seeing their athleticism on defense to protect the paint as well Angola looking to drive positively nobody's moved that trampoline yet from under the hoop Really well contested opening quarter in which Puerto Rico have a four-point edge. Hey, We're going to go to hey, the benches for a timeout. Hey, paciencia. Bola este lado, eh. Saca Romario. Juan Diego. Andres. Michael. Angola. Brian. Hey, vamos en espa. Fuerte hasta acá. Aquí no va a pasar nada al menos que usted vaya solo. Andrés abre. Juan Diego abre. Pasa, pasa, pasa. Y ahora sí, Romario, pantalla. Pantalla. Pantalla y sacamos a este man. Jackson, ojo vivo. Only Canada have scored more points in the paint than these two nations in America's World Cup qualifying. Although it's Colombia who've pounded the paint in this one. A couple of dunks, but also faced a couple of blocks. The majority of Puerto Rico's attempts so far have been from outside. It's a tough contested two, offensive rebound, they've grabbed a few of those now. And the fly, and the finish, and the foul. And the basket's not going to count on the second putback. But these two very athletic sets of players are showing their dynamism. Protecting their backboard is a problem for Puerto Rico right now. Five offensive rebounds for Colombia in the first six and a half minutes. Just a two-point lead, having led by six. The last four points have come from the hosts. Free player, far side, Jan Clavel, locked and loaded, and hits the target. Gets the bench on their feet in celebration. Five the lead for Puerto Rico. And Clavel knocks down another. There's going to be plenty throughout the course of this one. We feel for the officials to keep an eye on. A feisty affair. In the opening seven minutes, despite the fact Colombia can't make the World Cup, they're not taking it easy, not one bit. Three-point shot, again, it still won't go down from long range for Colombia. Now 0 of 5. Claval in transition. Just a tough move to attack. And putting the foul on Angola. And a positive play from Philip Wheeler. In his fourth appearance in qualifying, averaging 13 minutes through his previous three. 
Jean Clavel goes out for a break. The top scorer in this ball game so far, Clavel with eight points. Getting two threes and a pair of free throws. about the free throw shooting Puerto Rico have now missed three of their seven recovers to hit the second though Wheeler on that trip so six for them ties the largest lead three-point shot still won't go for Colombia 0 of six now and a freight train down the floor, able to finish, Ismael Romero. Largest lead of the game at eight. Two and a half to play in the first. The points are pouring for Puerto Rico. And Gola. Teo passes on, Almanza. Shot clock winding down. They get the open two after the patient approach on offense. Nicely done and knocked down by Ibar again. We've seen lots of quick offence, but that time the composure from Colombia. And they've got their reward for it. Pass threading the eye of the needle. And Colombia are at the foul limit already. So to the line goes Ismael Romero. Which is 10.7 points, six rebounds and a steal. Does all of his shooting on the interior at 63% accuracy. He had a big game in Brazil. On Thursday, 18 points, five rebounds on seven of nine shooting. It doesn't look like it's going to cost them at the moment. The way they're putting points on the board, but... You never know, these missed free throws could come back to haunt Puerto Rico. We talked about it being an Achilles heel for them. Bundling his way towards the basket, riding turbulence, missing was Teo, offensive board again. That's the other Achilles heel for Puerto Rico, not protecting their backboard. Five of ten from the foul line. That's the problem on offense. And then the problem on defense is they've given up six offensive rebounds in now eight and a half minutes to Colombia. Colombia not getting to the line often, but when they do get there, they're making them. And four of four as a team. Howard with the handles. And the skip and the turnover, but pinch back, and it breaks kindly for Howard for three. Jordan Howard from downtown. Puerto Rico by seven after nine minutes. Angola slicing and dicing the defense and scoring. Brian Angola straight to the goal. With a stumble, but a nice pass, despite the lack of balance and no problem recovering whatsoever. Romero with a Puerto Rico rim rocker. Teo from the elbow got it, and the two offenses are fully loaded and firing again. Five to shoot, end of the first quarter. Well, they get the shot away, off balance. 
falling into the corner and that will do it for an absolutely fabulous first quarter in Medellin Colombia 20 Puerto Rico 25 they've created a little bit of breathing room Puerto Rico Colombian fans right behind their team though and acknowledging this is not going to be an easy night for Puerto Rico to buck their place at the FIBA World Cup. But so far, so good. They're one quarter closer. And very good on the offensive end with some big moments. Attacking the basket for both teams. Some high-flying blocks as well. Colombia's offence functioning well, but all of their points on second chance opportunities off the back of six offensive rebounds. Puerto Rico will want to sort that out. Colombia 0 of 6 from downtown, but grabbing offensive rebounds off a lot of those long shots. They're hammering it home on the inside. Jen Claval, the top scorer in the game with eight points for Puerto Rico. Couple of players on six for Colombia. Teo and Iba again. What a dunk. To put the exclamation mark on a fantastic first. The one-handed throw down from Ismael Romero. Go to him. Michael. Buffy and Okay? Do make sure you get the courtside 1891 app downloaded onto your smart device. All of the stream schedules and scores, not just from this qualification campaign and the World Cup, but every tournament beyond. Tonight it's all about who's going to the grand stage from the Americas. The last day of games and five of the seven tickets still there to be grabbed. Puerto Rico will have one of them if they win this one. But Colombia far from here just to make up the numbers. Positive start on offense to the second for Puerto Rico. Stretch their lead to seven. The largest lead has been eight for them. Colombia yet to lead. And they finally get a three to land. No, it's an air ball. They're getting further away. And Gola off the mark. Who have seven on the outside now. Puerto Rico long on theirs. And Gola to Alamanza. And look it around the perimeter. And then look to penetrate the paint. Trying to run on defense, but yet again, off one of those misses, the offensive rebound. Not quite the angle on the shot. And that time, Puerto Rico able to protect their backboard. The initial miss from Jackson. That's a travel on Romero. Big man picking up the pivot foot. Defence. Teo escaping though to mid-range territory. A chance for Puerto Rico to run. That's the other advantage of protecting their backboard. It leads to a wide open three for Howard. Wouldn't go down. Offensive rebound for them. Swatted against the backboard. Time match Parker denied. And at the other end, launching the offense Angola, but the call goes the other way. We've had high flying blocks, high flying dunks, and now a high flying foul. 
Watch the left arm. Does he push off? That's what they've called. And stretching that left arm to his opponent. Columbia feel it's harsh. Thompson Jr., similar situation. Well, I think they're even now. The number 11 in red this time. With the flailing arm. Brazil so far winning by eight against the USA. And they'll go to the World Cup if they win. Mexico, however, are trailing by six in Uruguay. So their place is under threat. Tough shot, Teo doesn't go. Romero out to the corner. Three-point shot, no good. Falling back, offensive rebound turned over, though. Pinched by Roque. And two of them there waiting for the window. Didn't grab it. And back. And a mid-air collision. Someone's going to dunk it. Luis Almanza says that's me. A mad passage of play. Spent more in the air than on the ground. A timeout from Puerto Rico. Their lead cut to five, 22 27 the score. Six teams fighting over five tickets. One has to miss out. Puerto Rico determined to make sure it's not going to be them at the moment, or at least at the end of the first quarters. And of all of those six games, it's Mexico who are staying home. But there's a long way to go, a lot of time for that to change. Mexico only trailing Uruguay by four at the moment. Foul on Ibargen. Colombia's second of the second. Waters. Howard into the lane. That's blocked off. And Juan Teo. Okay, it's tight in there, but finishing on the reverse, he bargain. Just a one possession game. The slip and the slide, the loss of the ball, the recovery in a heap. The three-point shot, good for Jordan Howard. What a save. They turn the potential turnover into a triple. Puerto Rico double the lead to six. Turnover, Colombia. 
A blind pass out to the perimeter. And that leads to the fast break points for Thompson Jr. His first score ties the largest lead for Puerto Rico at eight. Stop and the pop, but not the drop from the foul line. It will come back, though, to Roque. Taken away by the big man. Look out! Ismail Air taking to the skies again. Ismail Romero, the giant pickpocket, and then the pure power. That's a big body running the floor, showing quick hands on defence. A quick stride, a huff and a puff, and a takeoff. Andre Juan Diego. Romario. Well, this has been special. Again, good luck to whoever's cutting the highlight reel. We could have filled it already. And we're only at the midway point of the second quarter. Puerto Rico have opened up their biggest lead of the game at 10. A 10th straight World Cup appearance, edging closer and closer. Long two if it goes, it does not. Offensive rebound again, though. We bargain to the far side. Teo in traffic. Defensive board for Ortiz. Waters. Mid-ranger goes down for Jordan Howard, who's really found his range, and Puerto Rico have really found their flow. 12 the lead now. It's as quiet as this crowd has been. The footwork and the finish from the far side to lift the decibels again. Brian Angola stops the brief rock for Colombia. Wide open three. Off the mark for Howard this time. A heat check for him. Colombia can look to build momentum. Having got it back to a single digit score. A battle on the boards, and they win it again. And get a break out to the perimeter. Quick counts on defense. Open three off the broken play. Doesn't go down. They keep on jacking them up. And Angola three from the far side a few moments ago. Their last basket was their first three of the game. They've taken 11 attempts now. Deep three for Puerto Rico off the mark for Ortiz. The pass fake goes the other way and puts it in. Andres E. Bargain, and just when you think Puerto Rico are pulling away, Colombia flipped the script. From 12 down, they're back within seven. Waters dancing with the defense and gliding right through. Seven points for Tremont Waters now. Only Claval with eight and Howard with eight. Have more for Puerto Rico. Colombia led by the ten now of Ibargain. 
and seven for Angola. It's a frustrated Luis Elmanza. Have to earn the points from the foul line. And shooting low percentages from the field, Colombia. Just 42% from two and just 9% on that one of 11 three-point shooting. But they're right there in Puerto Rico's rearview mirror because they've grabbed 11 offensive rebounds. Puerto Rico shooting it much better inside and out, but only grabbing three offensive boards. The teams have both committed six turnovers. Seven the gap. Two and a half to play in the first half. Howard escapes. Can't convert the triple. Almost picked the pocket of Roque. And then Roque races away and gets the underarm scoop and score to drop. Five the gap from 12 down. Final two minutes of the first half. Nice passing from Puerto Rico. Open shot, bottom of the net. Jean Clavel. Double digits for him. Path into the paint, opens up for the score from Teo. Waters will go to work again. Final minute and a half of the first half. Waters off the crossover through the legs, misses the three. Offensive rebound, no, balancing the baseline. Colombia keep it alive. There's a whistle on the play for some contact away from the ball. It's been a fast game. Just two fouls for each team here in the second. Oh, it's going to the bench. Aline Ford is back in. Fans are back in full voice for the final 75 seconds of the first half. This World Cup qualifying campaign has been wonderful. So much drama throughout the different windows. Oh, and there's a wonderful moment! On defence, George Condit throwing a block party in Colombia tonight. Just take the shots further away from the basket because if you attack George Condit, he's going to protect the rim. Three block shots in six and a half minutes on court. Colombia get to the line for the pair, though, so they do have a chance to cut it to four. We talked about the free throw shooting of Puerto Rico being one of their problems in this campaign. And now that might come to the fore in a tight game. Colombia were a perfect six of six, but they miss one. Puerto Rico have missed four already. So five the gap, final minute of the first half. Waters, Laval hands it off, Waters gets it back, three assists so far, leads his team creatively, calls the play from the centre court, high pick Condit, it bypasses him to the near side, step in, mid-ranger, short, into the hands of Condit, got it, but no, and it's going to be a shot clock violation instead, not quite there in the nick of time.
The seventh turnover for Puerto Rico. Oh, darting through a gap, attacking the shot blocker again, not converting. Showing no fear though, Claval going behind the back, lost it, picked off, quick hands to intercept the pass at point-blank range. It looked like Roque was going to be free down the floor for the easy two. Ortiz was having none of it. So Puerto Rico off those quick hands will get the final shot. Claval from distance. And that'll do it for a rip-roaring first half on the final day of qualifiers for the World Cup. And it's Puerto Rico who have the five-point edge at half-time. A win would take them to the dance, but there's still a long way to go here in Medellin. They're shooting the ball much better from the field, but look at the foul line. Well, they've missed four already, and the number of attempts for Colombia off the back of all of those offensive rebounds. Only three rebounds for Puerto Rico on the Colombia backboard, 12 for Colombia on the Puerto Rico backboard. Bargain and Claval, the top scorers, with 11 for their respective teams. It is now officially half-time in all six of those games that we're keeping an eye on. Brazil lead the USA by four. As they look to respond to a disappointing home defeat to Puerto Rico a few days ago. And that means as it stands at the half, across all of the games, the team missing out on the World Cup is Dominican Republic. Mexico have already saved themselves, coming from behind to now lead by eight at half-time in Uruguay. Three-point shot for Colombia. Sets the tone at the start of the second half. Romario Roque with just their second three of the game on their 12th attempt. It gets Colombia within two. Puerto Rico's place far from certain. And they lose it. Roque brings it away. He's got two for company. They make an absolute mess of the three-on-one transition. And the right pass was to go back to Roque. On the other side, he was on the trail. But you have to credit Puerto Rico for... Uh, their rim protection in the first half. And George Condit with three big blocks, planting the seed of doubt in the minds of the offensive players. You see him when you're looking to go towards the rim, you think twice. There's three blocks coming in just six or seven minutes on court in that first half. rake from Juan Teo. Clavel the inbound, turns it over straight away. And the layup good for Ibargen, who's got 13, and Colombia a level, having trailed by 12. They haven't led at any point in this game. They trailed by 12 in the second quarter. They've been chipping away at the deficit. And they're carrying momentum into the second half. And this qualification campaign is keeping everybody on their toes on the edge of their seats. And 
Just goes out for a bit of treatment. A couple of early fouls on Colombia in this third quarter. Jordan Howard had a hot scoring streak in the first half and then went quiet. Three point shot falls short for Chris Ortiz. So Colombia, a chance to take their very first lead of the game. Three point shot is good. Colombia lead for the first time and from 12 down, they've shot Puerto Rico. Angola up to 10. Now, now's Puerto Rico's metal. Three point shot to answer back. No. Offensive rebound, Condit. Claval, their main man, caught on the three. He'll go to the line. And a chance to get Puerto Rico back on level terms. Okay, not happy about the court. Well, Colombia was struggling on the outside in the first half. Now they're knocking them down. 1-3 in the whole of the first half, two already inside the first two minutes of the second. And it's given them the lead. On top of that, Puerto Rico are still missing free throws. Just 50%, 6 of 12 as a team from the line. Long range two, Ibar again, no. And a chance for Puerto Rico to get level or take the lead again. Oh, the razzle-dazzle pass. The inside-outside game leading to the bomb from Chris Ortiz. Beautiful Puerto Rican basketball. Just delightful, composed team play under pressure. And the block from Condit again. George Condit owning the airspace. Four rejections for Condit. He's been on court for just ten and a half minutes. And how about the Waters wizardry? The pass back out from Condit, the triple from Ortiz. Not down from the foul line though. Colombia back ahead, a series of lead changes now. They've got to work hard to get back in transition. Teo's hit 10. Colombia by one. Waters. Back out. Same player, same spot, different outcome. Ortiz misses this time. And the start to the second half has been similar to the start to the first. High flying, high octane stuff. Highly entertaining. And high stakes. Especially for Puerto Rico. Condit intercepting that time. Waters throws it up. And he can't save it. He's saying he was fouled. Tremont Waters talking to the official on the near side, adamant he was caught on the forearm. His best Claval, but landed with that right foot on the line. And the three point show continues for Colombia. Roque to rock Puerto Rico back against the ropes. After 1 3 in the first half, three threes in the third for the hosts. They lead by four, timeout Puerto Rico.
put the hand down. We have to keep playing with energy and make it stop. En el plan, Ali Goyan. He's coming, ¿verdad? Por aquí. We set the flag, stay down. Behind him, follow. Bump him and recover. Help side. Tremon, Gian. Tremon, Gian, atiende, Chris. Aquí, he coming. Go with Gian, Ali Corner. Go, Chris. Cortina, Tremon. Go with Condi. Go to the corner. Hand off, Chris, Chris. Hand off, Chris, Chris. What about the pass? The pre assist, the hockey assist. Condit with the kick out. Ortiz with the triple. Puerto Rican fans on their feet. Showing their passion and some of them their skin. Andres Ibar again. Double double now, points and rebounds. 18 points, 10 boards, 5 offensive boards. But Colombia lead by four, having not led at any point in the first half. Waters, lovely pass on the bounce down the baseline for the corner three from Ortiz, who turns and stares down the Colombia bench. Puerto Rico back within one. What a game this has been. the handle and Gola and to Teo again bit of contact the spin away breathing room shot doesn't go rebound grab Clavel Puerto Rico a chance to take the lead again oh in the spin cycle dizzying the defense the wonderful moves from Walters and he's really turning it on in Puerto Rico's pursuit of a place at the World Cup. But Colombia determined to take it down to the wire. They've got four scorers in double figures now. And still, they've just added De Luque to proceedings as their seventh player tonight. He's played 30 seconds. Pass on, look out! The flight path for Jackson, getting fans on their feet. And Colombia on defense, taking it away with Roque. He'll take the three himself this time. Condit the rebound. Roque getting back. So it's just about a seven-man rotation now with Deluque having played a minute and a half. Four of the starters for Colombia in double figures already. You bargain with 13, Teo, Roque and Angola each with 10. Ortiz has hit a couple of threes in this quarter, gets fouled there. Fourth foul on Colombia. Puerto Rico yet to commit one here in the third quarter. Any more fouls on Colombia for the rest of the period will send Puerto Rico to the line. Any more fouls from the Colombian defence at least. There's a long way to go. 4.13 left. Puerto Rico struggling when they do get to the stripe though. Six of 12 as a team. One, two, offensive rebound, Romero. We'll try and upgrade to a three for the tie. It's that man again, Chris Ortiz, shooting the lights out here in the third. 
All three of his threes coming since half time. Recovered in the backcourt by Teo. After it was tipped by Ortiz, who's all over Teo. Doing his bit on defense. Teo gets away, looks back out. Wide open shooter for the three. Doesn't go down Angola. And plenty of contact inside and a foul on Colombia. So that will take them to the limit. And it will take Puerto Rico down the other end of the floor to the line. It's on the unfortunate rocket. This game has been played at such a frantic pace and intensity from the opening tip. It's almost a welcome break. We get a pair of free throws just to contemplate the position of the two teams, the story of the game. The big moments we've watched, the big prize that's on the line for their team. Well, Puerto Rico make a pair. Only six of 12 before that trip, but Jordan Howard takes care of business from the stripe. And they have the lead by two. Three and a half to play in the third. They can afford to, if they want to, play tough defense and commit a few fouls here. Lots of leeway in that regard. The paint jammed up by Wheeler. They'll escape that time, and that's where you've got to turn it into points, and they do via the tip, De Luque. Maybe just lukewarm coming in off the bench, but he got the job done in the end. Clavel. Able to glide for the layup. 14 for Gian Clavel. Final three minutes of the third. Romero trying to apply defensive pressure. Clavel as well. Romero gets back into his station, and he's beaten, though. Only Bargain, who continues to produce. Fifteen points, ten rebounds. Free Bargain, the top scorer in the game. That's an offensive foul. And that's not where Puerto Rico want to use up their fouls in terms of that leeway. have now committed five more turnovers than Colombia. That, I believe they're 14th, Colombia just nine. And Colombia, remember, getting lots of extra possessions on offensive rebounds as well, but right on cue, Colombia turned it over for the 10th time. Three-point shot is good for Wheeler. Philip Wheeler with his first three in the whole of this qualifying campaign. He puts Puerto Rico up by three into the final two minutes of the third. Well, the up fake, the drive, and then the drop hard down to the wood. Three-point shot in transition, rims out. Condit couldn't secure the offensive ball. That's Condit on the up fake. Challenged by Romero, though. That is a big frame to beat. You get past Condit, and now he's got four blocks, and you run into Romero mid-air. Tough place to beat. Caught between a rock and a hard place. Another attack, they show no fear though, they keep on attacking the basket. And uh, Brian Angola earns himself and his team a trip to the foul line. And for all of those attacks to the basket, they're only going to take their ninth and tenth free throw attempts here.
just their second missed free throw of the game. Eight of ten now, Colombia. Luna recovers it, turns it over into the hands of Almanza, who wants to attack strong. Luis, Brian and Gola. A pie! Not quite, too high. Here's Alamanza for three. Very close, and then Romero lands on his line. Manza again. This is on responsibility. Three pointer too long. For Angola. Well, these two neck and neck. At breakneck pace. 60 60. Final seconds of the third. The stutter step. The floater in the lane. Won't go down for Howard. Time still for Colombia. They'll jack it up from centre court. And we will head into the final 10 minutes of qualifying with nothing to separate these two nations. Colombia hearing it from their fans after coming from 12 down, taking a few leads, but going into the fourth quarter locked level. Puerto Rico the better shooting inside and out from the field. Both teams making eight free throws. Colombia more accurately. And the reason their level is all of the extra possessions. And they've had six fewer turnovers. On top of ten extra offensive rebounds. And that means as they've taken 61 shots, Puerto Rico just 44. 17 extra field goal attempts for Colombia. That's been enough to keep up with Puerto Rico for points. They were able to turn a 12 point deficit that they'd been chasing in the first half into a four point lead at one stage in that third quarter before Puerto Rico. Rose to the challenge. Plenty of players have been rising to the rim in this one, offensively and defensively. It's been a back and forth battle. Tooth and nail to the finish. You cross. Jordan, fake and open, swing it. Willer aquí, Jordan Howard aquí, Tremont ya cruzó, Ismael está aquí, y aquí está Condi. You receive Ismael, hand off con Willer, fake and open, you receive again. You got the ball here, Tremont, bless God Ismael, if not Willer, Tremont, okay? Well, this race for the five remaining World Cup tickets looks like it's going to be a photo finish. The way things are twisting and turning throughout the course of the evening. Brazil have gone ahead just against USA, having been behind a few moments ago. That would have changed things for them. It's just a two-point game. This one's dead even. Mexico have come from behind to be up by seven in Uruguay. It's changing by the minute. Three-point shot, Puerto Rico. They have the first lead of the fourth. Waters with the triple to settle the jangling nerves. A 
the 11th three of the game. It's been their biggest weapon. They've hit as many threes as twos. Oh, look out! Not quite. Puerto Rico's rim protectors there again, just to make sure well, they weren't on the wrong side of a highlight. And foul on Angola. Romero to the line after stopping Almanza high above the hoop. Romero with Puerto Rico's fifth block. And then an air ball free throw that's recovered underneath by George Condit. Well, maybe it's going to be your night. And you benefit from an air ball free throw. Puerto Rico are up by six, having scored the first six points of the fourth. In the first minute of it, and foul on the three. Angola. I think he was just behind the line in the corner. Let's have a look. And he was, he got the feet shuffled back. George Condit went into his space, taking the bait. Octavio Munoz. For Colombia, and, uh, been on the court for close to five minutes. Coach gradually stretching the rotation. For the vast majority of the first half, he played with just six players. He's now introduced a seventh and an eighth. We're just checking the position of the feet here. the position of the heels as well. I think he's shooting the three, and I think he just stays in bounds. Like walking a tightrope. Brian Angola, the lines in front and behind of him. Also look, maybe to see if there's a travel there as well. Those shifting feet there, and then they're looking at the right foot, whether it touches the line. A forensic analysis of the evidence. And this game, I think, has been ahead of the other five. And the stoppage is allowing other games to catch up in that regard. Venezuela down big in Group E at home to Canada. For them, a win would have guaranteed their place, but they're down 15. Argentina leading Dominican Republic by 10. The winner of that one will get a guaranteed ticket. Brazil up by three against the USA. They're on course for a ticket by a fine margin. Mexico up by four in Uruguay. Fine margin there as well. And they're on course for a win that would give them a place at the World Cup. And here is a similar story. Three off the offensive rebound off the missed free throw. He'll get the triple in the end. Brian Angola raising the roof. And Colombia back within two. It is touch tight pretty much everywhere. Deep three point attempt. Romero, offensive rebound. Back out, they're queuing up, 
Almost a travel on Condit. Fans want the travel. Don't get it. And he attacks strong. And you'll hear it. And whistles and the jeers, and so will the officials from these fans. Colombia asking the question, not getting the answer they wanted. You don't see the feet there, but he looks like he goes up and then lands. With the ball still in his hands. Similar to the corner at the other end. That they were looking at for a long time with Angola. Rico by only three. And shooting only 56% at the line. It's even worse than a disappointing number coming into the game, 65% through the campaign. And those precious points cost them when it's all said and done. Backing in, Ibargan going to work. Grabs the offensive rebound, passed on. And at his face still knocks it down, Juan Teo. Colombia within just one. Well, how's your nerve, Puerto Rico? Dealing with the pressure, that's pretty cool and composed from Tremont Waters. Hard collision, Waters getting back on defence. Teo taken out. And Puerto Rico would still go to the World Cup if they lost this game, if either Brazil or Mexico lost their games, but they're not at the moment, they're both winning. And six and five points respectively. It is still far too close to call. And if you're a neutral, that's fabulous entertainment. Air ball from the corner. And eventually Romero grabs it. And to Colombia blow the second chance opportunity. Collision between Rockgate and Howard. If you're not a neutral, I'm sure it's nerve-wracking. Six nations who all want to go to the 2023 World Cup. Whether they'll play in Japan, Philippines or Indonesia. One of them will miss out. Puerto Rico by three. Dropped off, Romero in traffic. Can he let it go? Yes, he can. Off the window. Romero's having a good game. And Waters is as well. Two players for Puerto Rico stepping up. Three-point shot is good for Jordan Howard. The 12th three of the game for Puerto Rico. Just a little bit of breathing room again. Howard's third triple. Colombia timeout. Ah, Andres, Juan Diego, Brian, Baza, Michael, entramos, 
Ey, llevémoslo hasta lo último. Vamos, ey. No nos desesperemos que un tiro no va a empatar. Ey, tenemos que, que seguir. Ey, entonces. Ey, primera, primera. Colombia are not going away. And every time Puerto Rico think about pulling away, the host ants are back. And that man, Brian Angola, has been one of the protagonists. Manteo, a double double. 12 points, 10 rebounds, 5 offensive rebounds, 6 assists, and 2 steals. Nicola leads the team with 17 points. He'll go to work again. He's fouled on the shot. The foul was on the floor. Puerto Rico in that third quarter had those fouls to give. They hadn't committed one in so long. Just wonder if they could have used a few more of them. They conceded 24 points in the quarter. Beaten in it by five. And in this fourth quarter, it's almost the other way around. They've only got one left to give. They've not yet played four minutes. Teo directing traffic. Free shooter in the corner. And protect the rebound. Ultimately, as Howard touched it to Romero. Waters. Everything going through him right now. Howard, the shooter, comes around, taking the ring road around the defense. He'll try and reach it again in the corner, catches up with it and saves it. Romero slips it inside. And the two-handed throw down from Wheeler. Puerto Rico on the second chance opportunity. They're up by double figures. Can Colombia answer the call again? Yes, they can. Right on cue, Brian Angola from downtown has 20. And the turnover when Puerto Rico need to show some composure. Teo, touch pass to the trailer. Forces the finish over the top of the giant shot blocker, Romero. Jackson gets it to go. And in a blink or two of the eye, that 10-point lead is halved. At the halfway point of the final 10 of this qualifying campaign. Jordan Howard slicing and dicing the defence, turning it on. Jordan Howard really coming to the fore in the fourth. Short on the long-range three. Perhaps an ill-advised one from that far back. Early in the shot clock. The score here would feel significant for Puerto Rico approaching the final four minutes. Looking to make it a three-possession lead. Romero, a little push shot. Couldn't get his angles right off the window. And here's Teo attacking and being shut down by George Condit. The one-man SWAT team here tonight. George Condit has five blocks. And he's all pumped up for Puerto Rico. Now Waters checking what's around him, waiting. Spinning, slipping though, and turning it over. The two teammates arriving, it looked like a really cool move initially. But he just lost his balance on his pivot foot. The show and the go, but not the end product. Is a three possession lead though for Puerto Rico. 
in the final four minutes. Tail. Teo's going to shoot the three short. We'll get another go. Teo spins into the lane, fade away, short again. Rebound protected. This time, they've given up so many offensive rebounds. 20 offensive rebounds to Colombia. So every defensive board for Puerto Rico feels like a big win. There he is on the offensive end, George Condit with power and purpose to try and power Puerto Rico to the World Cup. He's shut down Colombia's interior offense with five blocks on the defensive end. And then he punched that one home on the offensive end to try and punch Puerto Rico's ticket to the grand stage. Vamos a ir en draga, sí. La entramos por este lado con Muñoz. André Ibargüen. La traemos aquí. Le damos a Juan Diego Tello. Michael Jackson. Backdoor. Ojo, Diego, el backdoor. Hey. Y vamos mano a mano con Angola. Hey. Vamos a ir en drag. Angola está acá al fondo. Vamos primero, vamos con Tello, Michael. Hey, ojo vivo. Tello para pasar un backdoor. Si no, mano a mano. Y terminamos. Angola, the top scorer in this game with 20. was a tough shot that Jackson got to go and the team were on the comeback trail and Puerto Rico have since put them in their place up by nine three minutes to play can Colombia rally off the back of the timeout only very briefly on two occasions in this game have we had a double digit lead beautifully drawn up by the coach but not converted Offensive rebound, we'll try and work it out on the second chance opportunity and Teo with the spin and the score and one. Intensity in the attack and getting his reward. So at the line to try and make it a six-point margin. Teo looking to tie the bargain on 15. Well short, though, on the free throw. Four scorers in double figures for both teams. A bit more balance for Puerto Rico. On the baseline. Tough pass in traffic. George Condit. Able to grab the handle on it and use his length to score. Found by the fantastic feed, though. It had to be pinpoint. And Gola back out, gets it back onto the corner, foot on the sideline. Well, Munoz, who's hardly played with a costly turnover. Condit, back to Waters, Waters the orchestrator of the offence, 12.7 assists tonight, around it goes to the shooter, Jean Clavel, offensive rebound, Condit, back out, wide open, far side, and if they don't get the first, they'll get the second, Jordan Howard, they've knocked down, 13 triples, at over 40% accuracy. 
They've tied the largest lead of the night now. And the turnover. And Waters waits for the cavalry. Clavel couldn't convert. But Puerto Rico, as Waters tried to pinch it back, he commits the foul. That will stop the clock. And send Jackson to the line. Puerto Rico now at the limit. But with 72 seconds to play, Puerto Rico are pretty much there. Barring a complete collapse here in Colombia. And the foul count just plants a bit of a seed of doubt. A minuscule one. And those fans that have travelled from Puerto Rico to support their team certainly won't be celebrating or booking those tickets to the World Cup just yet. Mexico have won in Uruguay. That game is finished, 69-82. So Mexico are officially at the World Cup in August. Puerto Rico following right behind them. Lead by 10. Colombia applying pressure, though. They get the ball in. Neatly from the baseline, break the press. Waters. Goal tipped. And the hammer! George Condit looking to scale a Medellin mountain here tonight. The three good in response for Teo. But Condit has turned from defence to dynamite. The five blocks and now multiple dunks to send Puerto Rico to the World Cup in style. It's an offensive foul against Claval pushing off on the defender. It's a three-possession lead at nine points, 34 seconds to play. Now the offensive foul does not send Colombia to the line, only fouls from the defence at least. Gola got it and one. No, it's an offensive foul. And that will frustrate him and surely finish this game once and for all. A tough break for the man who's got 22 tonight. Waters taking care of the ball, taking seconds away, turning it over, but Colombia now out of time. Puerto Ricans on their feet, ready to celebrate. Getting the party started here in Colombia. Time for one more dunk, one more big moment. Free bargain for the home fans. This is Puerto Rico's moment, though. For the 10th straight edition, they are going to the grand stage at the FIBA World Cup. Boy, did they have to work for the win. But they won it by seven in the end, on the road, in a fantastic atmosphere, in a fantastic game in Colombia. Led by the 18 points of Jordan Howard. 14 for Jan Claval. 12 for Tremont Waters, along with seven assists. 11 for Chris Ortiz. And how about the performance of George Condit, who had nine perfect points, 10 rebounds, five offensive rebounds, three assists, and five incredible block shots. Puerto Rico survived giving up a remarkable 21 offensive rebounds to Colombia. Also survived committing 20 turnovers because those scorers shot the ball so well. 
65% from two, and 13 made threes at 40% accuracy, which also helped them survive. A poor showing again at the free throw stripe. But none of that matters anymore. They're going back to the World Cup yet again for the 10th straight tournament. And let's take a look. Their flag is on the graphic. Three spaces still to fill from the Americas. They will be decided imminently. And the one remaining spot in Europe to be decided tomorrow will belong to Serbia. They do what they're expected to do and beat Great Britain. If they don't, it opens the door to Belgium. Tremendous entertainment from start to finish in Medellin tonight. Colombia really playing their part, despite knowing that they wouldn't take part at the World Cup, even at the start of play. Already eliminated, but you wouldn't have known it. They brought their very best. Made sure Puerto Rico worked for their ticket. The Puerto Ricans passed the test with flying colours. With plenty of players flying and clocking up the air miles in this one. The biggest offensive quarter of the game coming for Puerto Rico in the fourth with 27 points. Winning the quarter 20 to 27. After we were all tied up at the end of three, they win the game by seven. And for the first time in their history, they win four straight World Cup qualifiers. It's taken them out of a tricky position all the way to the World Cup. George Condit with the highest efficiency rating in the game with 27. With the five block shots, the headline for him. It's all happening elsewhere. We know Mexico are into the World Cup as well with their 69-82 win in Uruguay. Brazil currently up by five against the USA, four and a half minutes away from punching their ticket. Argentina five points up on Dominican Republic with three minutes to go. The winner of that one goes to the World Cup. Venezuela slipping against Canada. win would have guaranteed their spot when teams lose doesn't necessarily mean they're done it just means a bit of maths perhaps is required for Puerto Rico the challenge here as far as they were concerned was simple win the game go to the World Cup and that is just what they've done and they did it with a thrilling performance Colombia 80 Puerto Rico 87 the final score in front of a wonderful crowd in Medellin. It's been great having your company for it. I do imagine and you've tuned into one of those other games by now. Not an evening's entertainment on the long, arduous but enjoyable road to the 2023 FIBA World Cup. Me, Tim Long, great to be with you. See you next time.